Hey there, what are we doing today? Well, as I've mentioned before, I've been tracking all of my expenses. Wow, I always thought I was doing a good job of it, but I really wasn't. I was doing better than I have before, but with this, um, the Budget Mom workbook, which, you know, if I'm not buying stuff off of Etsy, which I'm not, I'm buying other stuff, so here we go. And I thought it would be fun to share and make me more accountable on how we're spending our money. And hi, my name's Lisa. As always, I'm super glad you're here with me today. So let's get started. So this is gonna be a little bit long, just warning you, I'm just getting started, just figuring out the categories, which is kind of overwhelming because I've been doing it one way and I'm, I'm not sure if this is, I spent some money, but I'm not sure if it's gonna work for me, but that's the way it is, but I'm gonna make it work. I'm gonna make it work. So let's get started. So I'm gonna just bring you in a little bit closer. So I bought some earrings on 3-1 for $1.93 and I use pencil because I make mistakes. And hopefully you can see that. We went out to eat at a fish house for $54.92, it was delish. And we were at Northern on a road trip. Northern is a tool store. And my husband spent $68.46. I took this out of home because it's tool related. We're just gonna go with that. Giving is three colors, and that is $40. Aldi was $62.25. I go there and get a lot of our vegetables, fresh, fresher vegetables, but um, you know, Target is fairly comparable and it's closer, so sometimes I go there. Publix is $45.45, and some of these include uh, paper towels, paper plates, yes, we use paper plates, toilet paper, um, things of that nature, trash bags. It's not all just what we eat. It's just everything we use in that regard. Publix is for pets. I spent $16.89. And Target, more groceries, $17.85. That might've been paper goods. I'm not sure. Gas, this is for the truck. It was $74.22. Cable is under our utilities, is $225.23. Pool, I just put that under home. It's, it's like a monthly bill. I'm not sure how I'm gonna categorize that, but that's a, a pool service that we have because we're, we're not gonna learn how to do that, evidently. So that's 150. Sun Pass is the tolls that we pay when we go zipping through the uh, toll roads. And that comes out at $25 increments. Gas for my car was 53.40. This is miscellaneous. It's a little dark, but I spent 12.50 something on my granddaughter, and then at Target, I spent $29.99 on my granddaughter. It's really hard to see, I apologize. But miscellaneous is a category I'm going to have to work on funding because I'm a little weak there. Bells, this was closed, $38.16. And for me, I bought some crazy pins, Joan River pins, I kinda like the quirky stuff. $17.12, this was at a thrift store. And this is at Disney, $20. Did I tell you I pay for parking? We get free parking with our passes, but we like to park up front because you know, that's it. And I just pay $20 for that every time we go. Publix, $7.09. Ice cream with our granddaughter is $11.99. Uh, medical, this is dental bill for my husband was $52.69. But in March, we had spent over $1,500 on that. So I'm gonna have to total that up for the first quarter. And I'll share that with you. More groceries at Publix for $23.89. For me, this was fun. I don't know what I bought, but it was $9.14. Miscellaneous. This is a watch guard for my watch, because I will break it. It was $8.54 off of Amazon. More lovely things from Target. Sun Pass, another $25. Natural gas is under our utilities. I sent in $20. It was $15. I'm just gonna send in $20 until I get a month ahead. And might be the only bill I'm ever gonna be a month ahead on, but I'll take it. Target is grocery at $27.98. Dollar General, I shared that deal with you, um, $26.44, where I bought my husband and I, we still have drink soda. Soda and detergent and use their $5 off on Saturday's coupons and their digital coupons. I'll try to link that down below in the comments. Vitamin Shop, $11.99. Target, this was over the counter, medicinal. I don't remember what it was, it's $14.99, and Walgreens, more over-the-counter medicinal 
I don't know what it was. I'm not really sure. But anyway, it's that. That's it. So let's see what this side holds. All right. We're almost there. Hang in there. All right. So on the 12th, this is the 12th. Okay. We're almost going through the 15th. First through the 15th. I'm just trying to get on track. Um, Aldi was grocery for $85.44. I think I bought steak that day. Some ribeyes. <laughs> I just had to. I, just, I mean, I'm not going to go out and pay that much money all the time, but I thought we'll just have ribeyes, and it was okay. They weren't so bad. <sighs> Publix was grocery was five dollars. I think that was yogurt for my husband. Another copay medical, and that was thirty dollars. And this, I'm just decided I'm, you know, I'm, I'm. This is the process for me. What card I put it on so I can make sure that it's paid off. So this was BOA BOA because that is two percent off of our BOA card right now. And then Capital One is 1.5 on everything else. Amazon Prime, this is not, well, you know what? This actually was Chase, C-H-A-S-E, the $140 uh, Amazon Prime subscription. And they actually gave me 5% back on that, which is cool. So that's why we use that card. Uh, more, what did I get? I got some home decor at the thrift store. That was $22.47. And more home decor, $8.56 at a thrift store. I like putting things together and making little quirky stuff in my house. Just ask around. She's quirky. More fun. Ooh, I don't think I put that in the totals, but that's okay. $6.42. It's not that much. It's because I didn't color coordinate it. Lowe's, what did we get? We had to get a new mailbox and post because it always, it's, it, we live on a small kind of rural road, but these, a lot of these homeowners are uh, like rock haulers or big truck haulers. And because they have huge lots, like three and four acres, they can park wherever. But when they go by our mailbox, they tend to take it out. And sometimes young kids, when they're speeding away from high school, their uh, mirrors, mirrors on the side, bam, take them out. It's funny, but it's not funny. Okay, groceries. This is paper goods, thirty-seven seventy-two. We go through a lot of paper towels because of Cricket. She has trouble holding her bladder. We have pee pads, but sometimes she gets ahead of us. We don't get her out all the time, so we are using lots of uh, paper towels. We got a credit at Lowe's for twenty-seven sixty, and there's a little plus sign because part of the mailbox stuff we took back. Walmart more medical. I think it was a supplement. Let's just go with supplement. And then I spent five dollars at on uh, TikTok for an uh, eating guide. I put that under medical. Lowe's was $4.79. I think that was numbers for the mailbox. Scripps, more medical, $10.74. And then we had a big copay of $2.50. And you can see why I have to keep everything with coordinated with the card. Kind of helps me out. BOA, that's just automatic. It automatically goes from checking to savings the 15th of every month. Okay. So that's done. So let's see what we spent in our categories. Fun, and I might have to add that 642, I'm not sure, I'll check it, was 4818. Giving was 40, should have been 80, but my husband missed a Sunday because we were busy in the ER. And utilities was 245, 23. That includes, what does that include? That includes uh, natural gas and cable. Home, all our home stuff, home decor, home tools, pool is $218.46. Groceries is $351.50. So for two weeks, that's not bad. Well, yeah, I went over my budget. That's bad. All right. It is bad because my budget for two weeks is $300. See, eye opener. Medical, $356. Uh, clothes, $38.16. Gas and tools. 177.62, miscellaneous 8.54, giving $40. Uh-oh, twice. See, we're learning. We don't need that. Okay, annual subs. This was my Amazon subscription. That was 140.11. And savings, that only came out once. Okay, 25. Eating out, not bad, 66.91. Pets, 16.89. For a grand total, of 1772. 
but really that's 1732 because that's why I use pencil for the two weeks. Interesting, interesting book. Um, I've been watching a lot of videos. A lot of you are using this and you use it in different ways and I like that. So I'm just learning how to figure out how to categorize our spending that is easier because I get kind of overwhelmed with all my categories, but then I'm a control freak. So there's that. So, all right, I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know if you use Budget Mom workbooks. What do you think about it? What's the best part of it for you? And um, I think that's it. All right. I appreciate you so much. If you made it to the end of this video, leave me a flower emoji. It doesn't matter because it's springtime. All right. I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.